at the Hanan holidays. In the previous classes, we have learned addition of fraction and subtraction of fractions. Today we will study multiplication of fractions. Observe these pictures. Each shaded part is 1 by 4 part of a circle. How much will the two shaded parts represent together? They will represent 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 is equal to 2 times 1 by 4 that is 2 into 1 by 4. Combining the two shaded parts we get the figure like this. What part of a circle does the shaded part in the figure represent? It represents 2 by 4 part of a circle. Out of 4 equal parts, 2 parts are shaded. So the shaded portions in the uh, first figure taken together are the same as the shaded portion in the second figure. That is 2, two into 1 by 4 is equal to 2 by 4. Now, can you tell what this picture will represent? The shaded parts in first three figures represent the fraction 1 by 4 because one part is shaded out of four equal parts. So, how much will these shaded parts represent together? They will represent 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 that means 3 times 1 by 4 so 3 into 1 by 4 that is equal to 3 by 4 can you tell what this picture represents here each figure one part one third of the part is shaded out of three equal parts, one part is shaded. One by third part is shaded. So one by third of a circle of part of a circle is shaded. And in second figure also, one by third portions are shaded. Out of three equal parts, one part is shaded. When you compare these two figures together, we will get like this. So here we can see that in this, how many portions are shaded? Two portions out of three equal parts. So the fraction is two by three. So when you compare these two fractions, we are getting two by three. That means one by three plus one by three is equal to two by three. So we know that if it's an issue are like terms, Denominators are the same, so we are able to add. So 1 plus 1 divided by 3, that is 2 by 3. So when you compare these two figures, we are getting this way. So 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3, we can write it as 2 times 1 by 3, because we know multiplication is the repeated addition. So 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3, we can write it as 2 into 1 by 3. That means 2 times 1 by 3 is added. 2 into 1 by 3, which is equal to 2 by 3. So when you are multiplying a whole number with a fraction, you are getting the answer 2 by 3. See, here the denominator, there is no change in the denominator, but the numerator is different. That whole number we multiply with the numerator of the fraction. So we are getting 2 into 1, 2. So 2 into 1 by 3. When you are multiplying a fraction with a whole number, you just multiply the whole number with the numerator of the fraction. 2 into 1 divided by 3. Keep the denominator as it is. So 2 into 1 that is equal to 2 by 3. Let us find 3 into 1 by 2. We know that 3 into 1 by 2 means 1 by 2 is repeating 3 times. 3 times 1 by 2. That means 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2. 
we know how to add the fractions. 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 is equal to 1 plus 1 plus 1 by 2 that is equal to 3 by 2. So we got 3 into 1 by 2 is equal to 3 by 2. Instead of doing this way, you can directly you can do 3 into 1, 3 into 1 divided by 2. Multiply the whole number with the numerator. So that is equal to 3 into 1, 3 by 2. And can you represent this picture here? This is the fraction 3 into 1 by 2. Can you represent using a picture? Here we know that 1 by 2 is repeating 3 times. 3 times 1 by 2. So if you are taking a square, 1 by 2 means that square is divided into 2 equal parts. Out of these two, one part is shaded. This is 1 by 2. How many times this uh, 1 by 2 is coming? 3 times. So 3 figures you have to draw. Again, one more 1 by 2. So 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2. 3 times 1 by 2. That is 3 into 1 by 2. When you compare these three, the answer will be, when you compare these three figures, you will get how many? 3 by 2. That means, if you compare these two halves, here half of the part, the shaded portion, when you take the shaded portions, you can see that one shaded portion here and the second shaded portion, so it forms one square. Again, one more shaded portion is there. So you are getting one and half. One and half. One and half. What is this? A mixed fraction. What is the improper fraction of one and half? This is equal to two into one plus one. That is three by two. Let us do some problems. Two by seven into three. So here, a fraction is multiplied by a whole number. So first you multiply the numerator and the whole number. That is 2 into 3 divided by 7. So when you are multiplying a fraction with the whole number, you just multiply the numerator and the whole number and keep the denominator same. So 2 into 3 is equal to 6 by 7. Next one, 3 into 1 by 8. So the whole number into the numerator of the fraction that is 1. 3 into 1 divided by, keep the denominator same. So 3 into 1 is equal to 3 divided by 8. Next one, 6 into 9 by 7. So 6 into 9 divided by 7. 6 nines are 54 divided by 7. The next one is a whole number and a mixed fraction. So if there is a mixed fraction, change into improper fraction, then multiply. So first of all, 3 into 2, 5 by 7, you want to write it in the improper form. So 2 7s are 14, 14 plus 5. 19 by 7. Change the mixer fraction to improper fraction. Then you multiply. Now 3 into 19 divided by 7 which is equal to 57 by 7. Next is fraction as an operator of. Of function we are discussing now. Observe these two figures. Each figure is the uh, one part is shaded. So these two uh, square, uh, similar squares are given here, exactly similar. So each part or each figure is one part is shaded. Here the shaded portion in this figure the shaded portion is one by 
2. Out of 2 equal parts, one part is shaded. That means half of this figure is shaded. Half of 1 square. This is 1 square. Half of the square is shaded. So we can say that half of 1 shaded. And here also half of the part is shaded. It means out of 2 equal parts, 1 part is shaded. Half of the square. Half of 1 square is shaded. When you compare the shaded portion together, compare the shaded portions together, this half, here one half portion shaded that we taken, and from this also the half portion is taken. These two halves together we are getting a square. Half of the square plus half of the square we are getting another square. That means when you compare these two shaded portions, we are getting half of 2. Half of 2. Because we got 1 square. There are 2 squares are there. When you compare these uh, shaded portions, we are getting and one more, 1 square. That means out of these 2 squares, we got the shaded portion is 1 square. That means half of 2. Half of 2 is 1. Combine two shaded half parts, it represents 1. So we can say that half of 2 is 1. Half of 2 is 1. Combine two shaded half parts, we get half of 2. Or it represents 1. That means half of 2 is 1. Here the OF function, half of 2. So OF function, OF is represents multiplication. So half of 2 we can write it as half. The OF function represents multiplication. Half into 2, which is equal to 1. That means 1 into 2, 2. 2 by 2 equal to 1. So half of 2 equal to 1. So OF function represents multiplication. Look at these similar squares. Each part is or each shaded portion is half of 1. Here this figure is shaded. Half part of the square is shaded. Half part of the square is shaded here. And in the, here also half part of the square is shaded. These three squares, similar squares. The, uh, each shaded part is half of 1. This is also half of 1, half of 1, and half of 1. Then when you, uh, so the uh, three shaded parts together, three shaded parts together. So from here, this is the whole half part we taken. This half we taken, we put together, so we got one full square. And one more half is here. That also we take it and keep it here. So, three shaded parts together represents half of three squares. Three shaded parts represent half of three. Half of 3. That means when you compare 3 shaded portions or 3 shaded parts, it represents <coughs> it represents 1, 1 by 2. 1 full square we will get and 1 half part also we got. So 1 and 1 by 2. 1 and half portions. It represents the fraction 1 and half. Or 1, 1 by 2, it's an excel fraction. So half, it means that this is the half of 3 squares. So half of 3, it represents half of 3 means it's 1, 1 by 2. 1 full square and 1 half square. 1, 1 by 2. The mixer fraction is changed to improper. Half of 3 means half 
of function represents multiplication 1 by 2 into 3 which is equal to 1 1 by 2 that is uh, mixed mix fraction change it to improper then 2 1 is 2 2 plus 1 3 by 2 so half of 3 is equal to 3 by 2 let us see same as the multiplication the whole number multiply how we multiply the whole number uh, with a fraction so 1 into multiply the numerator and the whole number 1 into 3 is equal to 3 divided by 2 keep the denominator same so half of 3 means half into 3 let us see one problem Ram, Raju has 20 marbles Ramu has one fifth of the number of marbles Raju has. Then how many marbles Ramu has? So there are two persons. One is Raju and Ramu. Raju has 20 marbles. But Ramu has only one fifth of, one fifth of the uh, marbles, uh, what, uh, marbles what Raju has. So, we can write here Raju's, Raju has 20 marbles. Ramu has only one fifth of one fifth of this Ramu's marble. Now, Ramu has 20, so Ram, uh, sorry, Raju has 20 marbles, so Ramu has only one fifth of that number. One fifth of that number. That means 1 by 5 of. 20 marbles. One fifth of the number of marbles what Raju has. That means one fifth of 20. That means one fifth of means multiplication. So 1 by 5 into 20, which is equal to 1 into 20 divided by 5. Multiply the numerator and the whole number. So 1 into 20 by 5 that is equal to 20 by 5 which is equal to 4. 4 fives are 20. So Ramu has only 4 marbles but Raju has 60, uh, 20 marbles. So 1 fifth of 20 is equal to 4. Shape half of the circles in a box. A box has so many circles, you have to share only half of the circle. Total how many circles in the box? There are 12 circles in the box. You have to share only half of the circles. That means half of 12 circles you have to share. So you can divide this figure into or this box into two equal halves. If you divide like this, you will get two equal halves. Now you can share only the half part of the circle. That means there are 12, so half of the 12 means 6 circles you want to share. So 6 circles we share, half of the uh, circle we share. That means half of total there are 12. Circles. So half of tall, how many circles we shaded? Six circles. So half of tall is equal to six. That means half into tall, which is equal to tall by two, that is equal to six. So there are six square circles we shaded. Next, shade two by three of the triangles in a box. Two third of the triangles in a box. Here there are nine triangles in the box. We want to uh, share only two third of two third means two by three means that out of three equal parts, two parts are shaded. Out of three, two parts. There are three equal parts. Out of these three equal parts, two parts are shaded. So there are three, you have to divide into three equal parts. You can divide this one, two, three. Three equal parts, you can do it like this or you can divide three equal parts. Out of these three equal parts, two parts you want to shape. So, one part, second part, 
third part three equal parts out of these three two parts you want two by three means two parts you want to shade it so how many triangles we shaded now two parts we shaded out of three equal parts we shaded three sorry two equal parts so how many uh, triangles are there one two three four five and six we shaded six triangles so two third of two by three of total how many triangles nine triangles two third of nine is equal to two by three into nine which is equal to eighteen by three which is equal to six so here also we traded only six triangles so two third of nine is equal to six we shaded only two by third of the triangles in the box. Let us do some question. First one, find half of 24 and 46. Half first we find half of 24 and second question is half of 46. We can do the first one. It is half of 24. Half of 24 that is equal to half of represent multiplication half into 24 which is equal to 1 into 24 divided by 2 that is equal to 24 by 2 which is equal to uh, how many 2's in 24? 12 twos are 24. So that is the half of 24 is 12. And second question half of 46 half of 46 means half into 46 which is equal to 1 into 46 divided by 2 that is equal to 46 by 2 which is equal to 23 46 by 2 is equal to 23 so half of 46 equal to 23. So we have learned multiplication of a fraction by whole number and we see that the multiplication by all function. Now we will study the multiplication of a fraction by a fraction. If you multiply two fractions, suppose half of 3 by 4. Mean half into 3 by 4. We have multiplied two fractions. 1 by 2 is a fraction. 3 by 4 is also a fraction. We have multiplied two fractions. Half 1 by 2 into 3 by 4. So when you have multiplied two fractions, you just to multiply the numerator and multiply the denominator. So multiply the numerator means 1 into 3 divided by multiply the denominator. 2 into 4, which is equal to 1, 3 is 3 divided by 2, 4 is 8. 3 by 8. So, when you multiply two fractions, multiply the numerator and multiply the denominators. Suppose you got an apple, or three, uh, 3 fourth of the apple. You got 3 fourth of an apple. You want to divide that portion into two equal halves. You got only three fourth of the apple. Not full apple. You got only three fourth of the apple. You want to divide that portion into two equal parts. So how do you do that? You want to find the half of this. Half part you want to give to your brother or sister. So you, you got three fourth of the apple. The half of that you want to give to your uh, brother or your sister. So half of 3 by 4 you want to find out. You want to divide that 3 fourth into 2 equal parts. So half of 3 by 4. That means half into 3 by 4. Which is equal to multiply the numerator. 1 into 3 divided by 2 into 4. It is 3 by so when you are multiplying a fraction by another fraction, you should multiply the numerator and you should multiply the 
denominator. Let us see the next question. We want to multiply a fraction and the mixed fraction. 1 by 3 into 2, 1 by 5. So mixed fraction you change it to improper fraction, then multiply. So here 1 by 3 into 2, 1 by 5, that is 1 by 3 into mixed fraction, change it to improper. 2 fives are 10, 10 plus 1, 11 by 5. So 1 by 3 into 11 by 5. Now multiply a fraction by a fraction. So multiply the numerators 1 into 11 divided by 3 into 5, which is equal to 11 by 15. See the next one. 5 by 8 into 9, 2 by 3, which is equal to 5 by 8 into, change the mixed fraction to improper fraction, 9 3s are 27, 27 plus 2, 29 by 3. Now multiply the numerator, 5 into 29 by 8, 3, 8 into 3. Which is equal to 29 into 5. 9 fives are 45. Reminder 4. 5 twos are 10. 10 plus 4, 14. 145 by 24. You can, if there is a common factor, you can write it in the lowest form. You can cancel the common factor and write it in the simplest form. And if there is no common factor, keep it like this. If there is any common factor in the numerator and denominator, take that common factor and write it in the lowest form. See the next question. Find one fourth of 1 by 4, 3 by 5 and 4 by 3. There are three questions are there. You should find the one fourth of 1 by 4, 1 fourth of 3 by 5 and 1 fourth of 4 by 3. Three. We know that of means multiplication. So the first question answer is 1 fourth of 1 by 4. That's equal to 1 by 4 into 1 by 4. Which is equal to 1 into 1 by 4 into 4. That is equal to 1 by 16. Then the second question. One fourth of three by five, which is equal to one by four into three by five, which is equal to one into three divided by four into five, which is equal to three by twenty. And third one, one fourth of 4 by 3, which is equal to 1 by 4 into 4 by 3. That means 1 into 4 divided by 4 into 3, which is equal to 4 by 12. If there is a common factor, you can write it in the simplest form. In 4 by 5, 4 is the common factor. Both numerator and denominator, you can see the 4 is the common factor. So, the lowest form is 1 by 3. 1, three is, one 4 is 4, 3 4 is 2. We cancel the common factor, you will get the lowest form that is 1 by 3. Next question is, which is greater? 2 by 7 of 3 by 4 or 3 by 5 of 5 by 8? So first you have to multiply these two fractions, then you have to compare it. So 2 by 7 of 3 by 4, that is 2 by 7 into 3 by 4, which is equal to 6 by 28. 2 3s are 6, 7 4s are 28. Is there any common factor? 2 is the common factor. In this 6 and 28, there is a common factor 2. So when you cancel the 2, you will get 3 2s are 6, 14 2s are 28. So the lowest form is 3 by 14. 
The next one is 3 by 5 or 5 by 8. 3 by 5 into 5 by 8. Which is equal to 3 fives are 15 divided by 5 eights are 40. That is 5 is a common factor. So the lowest form is 3 by 8. Directly you can write the answer by cutting the common factors. Here we can cancel these common factors. Then what is left here? 3 by 8. Instead of multiplying, directly you can uh, you, uh, write the answer by using the cutting method. So now we got one, uh, 2 by 7 of 3 by 4 is 3 by 14. 3 by 5 of 5 by 8 is 3 by 8. Which is greater? Both have different denominators. Now directly we cannot compare these two fractions. But if we make the denominator same, we can compare very easily. So 3 by 40 and the second one is 3 by 8. Make the denominator same. That means you have to use the LCM. What is the LCM of 14 and 8? So the LCM is equal to 50. LCM of 14 and 8 is 56. So you can't make the denominator as 56. So 3 by 14 into 4 by 4 you will get 12 by 56. 3 by 8 into 7 by 7 you will get 21 by 56. 12 by 56 and 21 by 56 both are same denominator. Now we are very easy to compare. So, when you have, if the denominators are same, you compare the numerators. 12 and 21, which is greater? 21 is greater than 12. So, 12 by 56, 12 by 56 is smaller than 21 by 56. 21 by 56 is greater number. So, here which is greater? 3 by 8 is greater than 3 by 14 because 3 by 14 is equal to the equivalent fraction of 3 by 14 is 12 by 56 and the equivalent fraction of 3 by 8 is 21 by 56. So 3 by 8 is greater value. This 3 by 8 is the value of which one? 3 fifth of 5 by 8. So in these two, this is our question which is greater. So in this which is greater, 3 by 8 is greater. That means this fraction is greater. So we can write here 3 by 5 of 5 by 8 is greater than 2 by 7 of 3 by 4. So children, we have learned multiplication of fraction by a whole number and fractions as an operator of and then we studied the multiplication of fraction by a fraction. When you are multiplying a fraction by a whole number, you just multiply the numerator and the whole number and keep the denominator same. When you are multiplying a fraction by another fraction, multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. So you have to study this, read your textbook and study properly how to multiply two fractions and how to multiply a fraction by a whole number. Write and study this all and you have to do your worksheet. Today's your worksheet is exercise. Group 1 group all questions and exercise 2.3 question number 1, 2 and 3.